some technical difficulties lately. Homie over here keeps forgetting to turn the mic on. So this is the third or fourth time I'm recording this. Um, in any event, today we're doing um, stuffed pork chops. I'm going to basically make some cornbread stuffing. And yes, it's cornbread stuffing out the box because why make cornbread if I can buy the stuffing already made in the box? Um, just crazy. It's a dollar. And then I'm going to uh, basically cook down some Trinity, add in some sausage, combine the two together to make a sausage cornbread stuffing. I'm going to uh, butterfly some pork chops, which basically by butterfly, I'm not cutting them in half. I'm going to uh, basically make a pocket in there and fill that with the uh, stuffing. And then I'm going to sear them and bake them for about 30 minutes at 350. Pull those out and I'm gonna saute some spinach on the side. Uh, in any event, let's get started and we'll show you how we, how we do this. Here's the trinity we're going to use. We're just using half an onion, half a bell pepper, two stalks of celery, and a couple of toes of garlic. Green onions we're going to put in the uh, stuffing uncooked. But first we're going to go ahead and dice up the onion, then we'll go ahead and dice up the half the bell pepper, and uh, get all of that just kind of set up. All right, to get the uh, stuffing started, you're going to get the skillet nice and hot, add in some extra virgin olive oil, then the trinity. Get that trinity working. Once it's about halfway done, you're gonna go ahead and season it with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And uh, work that in a little bit. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in the uh, minced garlic as well as some fresh basil. When it's almost completely and utterly translucent, then you go ahead and add in the uh, sausage. And I'm just using the cased sausage. And I'm gonna go ahead and cook that down until it's browned. Once it's browned, I'm gonna set it on the side to cool and then pull out the uh, stuffing that we made per the package directions. And then you're gonna go ahead and put, dump the uh, mixture from the skillet in there and fold it all together. And then put set that in the fridge to go ahead and cool. One thing to note here, you wanna get all the sausage, the grease and everything into the uh, mixture. We'll save a little bit of the grease to get the, uh, to use when you're searing the pork chops later. Stuffing's in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and season the pork chops, bake the pocket in there, show you how I do that. Um, again, you're not butterflying them in half. You're basically gonna cut a pocket in them, shove the stuffing inside the pocket, and as much stuffing as you can fit inside the pocket because you're gonna sear both sides, then bake it. You'll have plenty of chances for that to cook all the way through. Anyway, we'll show you how I do this. All right, I went ahead and butterflied all of them and seasoned them with some pepper, salt, and garlic powder, and then just a little bit of slap your mama. Um, when they, after they come out the fridge, you do want to go ahead and pat them dry. And if you look, you can see the pocket right there that I made. Um, just kind of cut just in the middle as deep as you can without going all the way through. Um, you want to get that pocket nice and deep so you can shove as much of the meat mixture in there as you possibly can. Um, if you go ahead and watch, you can see what we're doing right there. If you look, you see that's what the stuffing looks like when it comes out the fridge after it's been sitting up for a little bit. And you're going to go ahead and take that and scoop it out with either a spoon or your hand and just shove that into the pocket as deep as you can get it. And uh, you don't want to overdo it, but you don't want to underdo it either. There's no need to really close this up because we're searing it and baking it, so nothing's going to really come out. I want your pans nice and hot. You're just going to sear these on a... Give them a sear for a few minutes on each side. Well, once they're... Once they're butterfly like this, they're thin. That's kind of the color you're looking for. You're going to finish them off in the oven, so. And you want that nice little. Everything in the one pan. And we have, like I said before, we have six of these pork chops, so. We've got three in, we got to put three more in. That's just basic math, Bob. Kill the heat up here. Let's 
stuffing in the oven 350 for 20 to 30 minutes until internal temperature of 145 to 150. Hot, a little bit of olive oil. And I always do mine with some diced onion and diced bell pepper, either red, yellow wings. Alright, with this you're going to go ahead and uh, cook this until the onions are translucent. Then you start putting the spinach in just a little bit at a time. If you do it all at once, it'll never fit in the pan. It'll end up making a huge mess. So put the spinach in there. As they cook down, you just add some more. And then maybe 20, 10 seconds and you can already see the volume has decreased by almost half. All together and let the residual heat finish them off otherwise it decreases the chance of running into a a wilty mess of peppers with a few green things in them so it heats off there we go Here you add a little bit of red wine vinegar. That'll do two things. It'll help slow down the cooking process and it adds some great flavor to it. All right, when it's all done, you're gonna have that right there. Look at that beauty.